we knew this was going to be the year of the robots, Deirdre. We, we certainly did. It's interesting to contrast to last year, right? It was all about AI in theory, and this year, robotics is starting to put AI into physical form. So that's what it's all about. There's lots of fun demos, like this one from Boston Dynamics, showing off its next-generation Atlas robot, now paired with Google's AI. Now, to be clear, this demo was tele teleoperated, but it does show you where we're headed. The form factor, as you see, it's humanoid, but as the executives put it, it builds on nature. So you've got fully rotational joints built to operate in heat, cold, rain, real industrial environments. But what really stood out to us was the intelligence behind it, this idea that this robot can actually learn a new task, like walking itself over to a charging station and swapping its own battery, and then pass that skill on to other robots. And that's really key, because it means that once you have the form factor down, improvements come through software and the AI that powers the back end. So that may be where the real race is in 2026, even though it's fun to look at all the different humanoid robots. When you see videos of China's Unitree robots, for example, which are arguably a lot more impressive. Look at this. Flips roundhouse kicks. And they're also moving towards commercialization faster. It's easy to focus on the hardware. But ultimately, this may be less about who can build the robot and where the biggest companies are placing their bets. Alphabet once owned Boston Dynamics before selling it to Hyundai. Now Google's back, owning the hardware, but powering the intelligence with Gemini. That is a shift, and it tells you what part of the stack these companies think really matter, even if they're working on a lot of different areas here. It's really about who controls, trains the robots, how they get better over time. And that is why NVIDIA is all over the space, too, at CES. Jensen Huang in his keynote talks about going after the intelligence layer, using the same playbook that worked in AI infrastructure, now applied to how robots are trained and upgraded. AMD, too, partnering with generative bionics to power its humanoid robot concept. So zooming out, guys, this starts to look a lot like the dynamics that are underpinning the current AI race. The U.S.'s edge is the intelligence layer. China's edge is manufacturing and deployment, each side racing in its own way to set global standards. And this is why this is starting to get Washington's attention. Like AI robotics, it's not just tech. This is about industrial capacity, supply chains, who controls the next layer of the economy.